All right, man, let's talk about uh, Tiafima Lopez and um, Regis and Regis and Adrian Broner. Now, um, Adrian Broner, uh, somebody sent me both of these. Shout out to whoever it was. I don't remember. Um, was going back and forth on Instagram with uh, with uh, with Mac Main. Now, if you don't know who Mac Main is, he is affiliated with Lil Wayne. Young Money, Cash Money. That's Lil Wayne's man, so... I don't know if he reaches manager or what was going on there. I don't know if he reaches manager, but they both from New Orleans. Um, shout out to New Orleans. A lot of people don't know New Orleans is not a big place. Uh, that's some of the coolest people I ever met from New Orleans. So shout out to New Orleans. They solid. A lot of them went to Mobile, Alabama after Hurricane Katrina, Houston, and Detroit. They don't know why it was Detroit. Like I said, BG was in my neighborhood, literally. <laughs> you would see him in his, in his Hummer. In my neighborhood after all that happened. So, you know, shout out to BG. Um, already heard he'd be home pretty soon. So, um, he ain't snitched. So, hey, shout out to BG. That's one of my favorite rappers of all time, right? Um, so, apparently, you know, Adrian Broner, you know, saying that, you know, I, I, I'm guessing that he going to tune up first um, and then come back and fight Regis Progress. Uh, heard he coming back in February is the word going around. He was uh he looked kind of heavy in some of the videos, bro. But they say Mac May for president. You know, I respect you and I F with you heavy. But I always told you once Regis get a belt, we gonna go back, go make that fight happen. So after I handle my business in February, there you go right there. I'm pulling up on Regis. Uh like I just booked the penthouse suite for tonight at BLK Prime, at BLK Prime. Boxing at BLK Prime, hashtag 23, hashtag about billions. Uh, so he said, now your boy got a title. We can make it happen. I handle my business in February. Handle your business in February. Then pull up and get your ass whooped. Long, it's uh, long overdue. He said, hey, man, ain't scared to talk. Uh, hey, man, you ain't scared to talk to me like that, huh? He said, uh, you going to get punished, bro. I've been told you that. Don't look too far ahead. Get knocked out knocked out in February. Stay focused. Say, listen, bro, I take shit, I take this shit a fight at a time. February is my first priority. And once I handle that business, I will be at y'all doormat like I'm delivering UPS. So at the end of the day, dude, that just that the, the one thing that this show is that Al Heyman is stopping fights. If they can make that fight after you get a belt, that means Al Heyman stopping fight. Al Heyman could have easily facilitated this fight for uh Regis Pro Race if he wanted to. But then again, Al Heyman would have definitely threw that $80 pay per view price tag on there. So apparently, you know, AB get away and then the progress fight can happen. But like I said, it looks like he's a little heavy right now. Um, and then we don't know who's opponent going to be in February. Apparently, they already got an opponent in line. Uh, so we're going to find out December 10th. A lot of people say, like, damn, we ain't even, you know, we see a Crawford. Uh, you know, I've reached a press conference to none. Crawford just to seem like they just went the way of uh just 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 him doing the media run. So um so hey, I guess it ain't gonna be no press conference, ain't gonna be no Zoom call, ain't gonna be no face to face, possibly till fight week. So I mean that's how they rocking, that's how they rocking. I mean, do the press conference really matter? Because a lot of these dudes born anyway. You know, back in the day, you ain't going to get no Riddick Bowl piece of nobody up at, at the press conference. No way. So, um, but, I mean, it's it's a fight. That's what we can say. It's a fight. So it's a good, it's a good fight, you know, promotional-wise. Um, you know, T.O. don't have a, 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 a not T.O., but we just don't have a, a network that he really fighting on right now. Um so, yeah, he don't really have a hard network that he's fighting on right now. Richard Schaefer don't seem to be aligned with, uh, with Al Heyman right now. Last time he was, Bardera's got knocked out on Fox, and I don't think they pretty much doing business right now. So, I mean, there you have it. There you have it. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I ain't, I ain't mad at this. You know, Al Heyman easily could have won this fight, but maybe he didn't really see – no, no more value in AB. You know, after he pulled out that last fight and he keep running his mouth, 
about about the boxing business and all that. Maybe he he washing his hands of it. Which he should have let Ben let the boy go. And that's messed up that his father starving out here begging begging niggas for money and shit. You know, and you know, you know, like I said before, it's just so much to say about Al Heyman, bro. So much just could be said. And, you know, it's disgusting. You know, but I'm not going to indulge in those things. So, I man, he can make it happy. He can make it happen, man. More power to him. Over at BLK Prime. But we all feel, I think we all feel the same way. We all feel a punishment is in order. What uh, Dr. Umar say? <laughs> what about Dr. Umar say? A, sla a lashing. Is in order. That's what we feel. A lashing is in order. You know, if he can come back and be be pro grace, if he can come back and be pro grace, that'd be one of the biggest comebacks of all time. Real talk. <laughs> At least of our time. But uh I don't see it happening. Seriously, I just don't. But uh hold on. But I mean we have to wait and see. But I think he gonna I think he gonna he gonna get punished. But yeah, man, it's worth it. You know, maybe now we just can go make some money now, bro. Or get some notoriety. I mean, I mean obviously he's been making money. Or get some notoriety. But uh Apparently somebody sent me the conversation of uh hold on. Let me see if I can find this. Hold on. Somebody sent me the conversation on, on Twitter. Hold on. So I don't know if it was a poll. Hold on. Or whatever. But apparently they had a conversation. Apparently they had a conversation. Look, shout out to this dude, the boxing bully. He got it. So apparently they had a conversation. And I can't zoom in, but it says, he said, in the progress versus Lopez, I guess it's a it's a poll. He said, You need to teach me how to be how to be that slow. Oh my, I can't wait to eat next year. That's what T from Lopez said. Reed said, Tio, boy, stop. You gotta put on your ass by can bow. So imagine what I'll do to you. If we fight, I guarantee I hurt you, and you will never be the same again. We ain't the same after that Lomachenko fight. Don't come effing with me. I put you in the hospital, and maybe even early retirement. So then T over here he said, "Man, f that. I'm trying to uh, be them. I'm trying to be. I think to beat them all. Uh, I'm trying to be them all. I think in the more f the hospital. They're not ready to die uh, for this. I am." So that's him in the comment section. So I mean, at the end of the day, here I mean, the only person I only a few fighters, the only one in this generation that I seen that was legitimately willing to die in the ring um, is Deontay Wilder. Now it took him forever to respond. It took him forever to respond, but I ain't mad. He did respond. Maybe he hear he ain't hear uh, progress, but now that it became public and he he we know he's seen it, you know now he's saying he's slow. I got Regis. I just leave it at that. But then again, let me see how Tio look versus Sandor Martin. I think Sandor Martin might be in there for the upset if he can take Tio power. Man, that's a bad matchup. I'm watching that now. I wasn't watching it before because I didn't give a hell about it, but I'm watching it now. <laughs> I'm watching it now. For sure. I'm watching it now. For real. I'm watching it now. You know, but uh but we'll see. I mean he sound, it sounds good. Yeah, let's see when if the contract, you know, come across and he signed it. You know. 
And if he do much respect to Tiafimo Lopez, do he got a chance? Yeah, he got a chance. He's a very talented young man. I think he was a little bit too heavy. I think he was a little bit too heavy his last fight versus uh. Now nah, I'm thinking a little bit too bulky versus Pedro Campa, but uh, yeah, man, he still can punch up there, and we'll see. Father said they comfortable fighting the bigger guys and. They comfortable, you know, doing all that type of stuff. So only time will tell. Most people say Regis a killer. You know, will top rank make that fight? How many options would they need? Would Richard Schaefer allow him to be co-promoted by top rank? There's so many questions to be asked, to be answered. They had a chance to sign Regis. Regis said they couldn't promise him. The Jose Ramirez uh, fight, or couldn't promise him the Josh Taylor rematch. So I, I guess he chose to, to go elsewhere. So I'm trying to go to PBC. They they was on some bull crap. So he tried to do his thing. He tried to do his thing, but it, it didn't happen. All right, right now, it's right now I got uh I got a. Uh, Regis got knockout. <laughs> but if he can handle Regis, he might have a big future at 140. Josh Taylor kind of seemed like he descended. Excuse me. It seemed like he descended. And Regis rising. So could be a rematch order there. May not be a rematch in order. Apparently, Josh Taylor can't leave the UK right now. But, uh, it's getting interesting at the 140-pound division. Then enter Devin Haney. Then eventually, uh, maybe Shakur Stevenson. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be very, very interesting. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Uh, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all our notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo CJ Good 313 PayPal link in description. Uh, hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Shout out to Box Playlist. Peace.